universes can be created based on relational or OLAP data sources. In this tutorial, you will create a query based on an OLAP universe. Note that this tutorial covers features available in SAP Business Objects Web Intelligence Rich Client, version 14.0.0, build 760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. Select Universe as the data source for a new document. Select Universe. Enter your user credentials to connect to the central management server for the business intelligence platform. To select the desired data source, click in the password text box. Type password 1 and then click log on. Select the Adventure Works Universe. Click to scroll down. Select the Adventure Works CR UNX file. Click Select. Universes based on OLAP data can contain hierarchy objects, which organize data in a hierarchical structure. When you include a hierarchy is a result object, you can choose which members of the hierarchy you want to include, in your report. Drag and drop the customer geography hierarchy in the result objects pane. Click plus to expand the customer folder. Click customer geography to drag the object. Click in the result objects pane to drop the object. Open the member selector for the customer geography hierarchy and select Canada and France. Click Member Selector. Click Plus to expand all customers. Select the Canada checkbox. Select the France checkbox. Click OK. Expand date and add the month of your object to the query. Click Plus to expand the date folder. Click Date.Month of Year to drag the object. Click in the Result Objects pane to drop the object. Expand Internet Sales and add the Internet Sales Amount object to the query. Click to scroll down. Click plus to expand the Internet Sales folder. Click Internet Sales Amount to drag the object. Click in the Result Objects pane to drop the object. Click Run Query. The report includes all the selected members of the Customer Geography Hierarchy. You have successfully created a report based on an OLAP universe. This is the end of the tutorial.